Hey YouTube, I'm Shalal from 7 Tech Mate. Back again with another hope for you useful video. Today we're gonna talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Is it worth buying in 2019? Let's find out. Let's start with the display. It's packed with a beautiful Super AMOLED HD display that delivers an amazing crisp quality experience. It's also Samsung's first curved display phone. Rocking with a 1440 by 2960 screen resolution, at 529 ppi it's one of the best displays for videos on 2K or 4K. It's amazingly pleasing to watch movies on this as the picture slightly wraps around the phone. The thin on the side's bezel is a high quality metal that's strong and can stand a heavy force without bending. Coming to the rear of the phone, this is where I feel it's more vulnerable, as it's made of glass. Because if it drops, there's a good chance you might end up with a spiderweb design. I'm not going to do a drop test, because there's plenty out there already. On the technical specification side of things, it comes with 4 gigs of RAM on the 64 GB variant and 6 gigs of RAM of the 128 GB variant. Storage can easily be upgraded to max of 512 GB through micro SD. Samsung has always been really slow in delivering Android updates. So it's no different from this model as well. Still running on Android Oreo. It's scheduled to be upgraded to Android P by March this year 2019. This test phone I've been using for few months now. And performance is still pretty good. So far, no lags. Cause Samsung phones were kinda getting famous for lags over time. But the S8 Plus handles daily stuff like opening and closing apps, multitasking with ease. So thumbs up for performance. The main rear camera is a 12 megapixel f1.7 dual pixel lens with OIS, optical image stabilization and auto HDR. There are few video recording resolution options. Starting from the lowest to be 720p at 240fps, 1080p at 60fps and 2160p at 30fps. The front camera is an 8 megapixel, again same as the rear f1.7 with auto focusing and video recording at 1440p at 30fps. Both cameras are really really good. The S8 Plus has USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer, along with a 3.5mm headphone jack, which most phone manufacturers are not including it in new phones. My personal opinion, there should always be a headphone connector period. For the healthier bunch, it has a heart rate sensor and comes with the Samsung Health app for monitoring your daily routines. Like most high-end phones these days, the S8 Plus is water resistant with IP68 certification. So it's perfectly safe to take those underwater pool shot. Now let's take a look at the accessories. The on-the-go connector, OTG for short, is very useful and handy. You can use it to charge another phone although I wouldn't recommend doing it every day. Also, you can plug a flash drive and transfer data from it. 
Another neat thing you can do in case you don't have your type C cable and charger you can use the OTG and connect it to both side USB cable and let it charge on an older Samsung charger. Just something that came in handy for me once. Let's not forget the awesome AKG headphone tuned by Harman. Same guys who does Harman Kardon and JBL. So is it worth the money in 2019? Well it depends. If your aim is to get a phone that can handle daily stuff and play games, then a definite yes. And trust me it can handle a lot. But if you are a person who is more into tech updates and want only the new stuff, then it's an obvious no. That wraps up our video for today. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and to keep yourself updated on details such as this, subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to get notifications as soon as new content are uploaded. Alright, see you on the next one.